Raindrops are falling on my face. Even though I am under a covered place. Right in the face. Yes, I am whizzing. Or, not whizzing. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I didn't know where I was going there. <laughs> Great. Um, let's scratch that from the record. <laughs> Give me the intro Anyways. to this video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. So, hello everybody. <sighs> Welcome to the... <laughs> Welcome back to Farming <sighs> Simulator. It's been forever. Yeah. And ever. Got some new mods and got some new DLC. Got some rain in the face. Being very unprofessional while eating. But I'm hungry, so whatever. But anyways, no, Horizon Zero Dawn's doing really good with the reviews as well. Like, it's pretty highly rated on Metacritic already. And it, it looks good. really I mean, cool. Like I said, visually, it looks interesting. But I'm mm -hmm. just a little confused about how everything came to play here with the those mechanical-looking dinosaurs, whatever they are. That's what you'll find Big out in the disc game. disc heads. I know. I don't know how interested I am. I guess I'll just watch your videos. <laughs> See, there we go. Because it's, it's probably not co-op anyways. Mm, no, it's all single player. It doesn't, it doesn't look very co-op-ish. Even though it would be pretty cool if it was. So... But yes, all right. Oh, um, this, oh, things have changed in the past few weeks, boy. and well, actually months. Well, this was already what Such we had before. Little... This is the square bale oh, uh, picker yeah, upper. I see. But um, I see, in the I see. Oh, this in is the little new. bit, yeah, all no, this stuff not. that's here is new. And did you see? You can actually change when you buy these wrappers. You can actually change what color they wrap it in. So I got this one with green. And I got the uh, the big one here, um, black. So what's cool about this is this makes it into Ooh. a hay bale and then wraps it right afterwards. So that's kind of a cool addition to that. Hey, and this is all the hey, Coon hey. DLC that came out last week. So, And then we got some new mods like this new trailer, this new uh, circle bale loader, which I honestly, just using it, just driving it over here, I feel like this is going to be something that we sell because it just doesn't seem to work correctly. I, I, I don't know. It's kind of weird, which you'll see once we hmm. start using it and stuff like that. So we so got that I all guess for the hay stuff. I we need to do some and, mowing. And oh, did yeah. you ever get the, the other Widower thing? Oh, the newer one from the DLC stuff? Yeah. I did not, but yeah. I can go get that really quick. Because I still need to grab the uh, the mowing stuff. Because I forgot that part. I can part. grab the mowing stuff. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll grab the and mowing. You can grab the new... Uh... They also added Wait, a new crop. Which isn't really a crop. Um, it What was it again? Oil seed radish. And radish, yeah. Instead of actually harvesting it, you, you cultivate it. And then it makes it to where the next crop that you put on it will yield 30% more crop and stuff like that. So, it seems interesting. It'll be interesting. I'm, I'm sure we'll try it out just to see how much more money we get from that. But, um, because that's growing right now, right? Because you made that one Field 18 oil seed, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. I sure did. Oh, and we also have new bale uh, grabbers. At our cow pen, which seem to look like they're going to be a lot more useful and handy than the uh, other ones that we used to have. I'm talking about the uh, conveyor belt one, by the way. You know, it has like those two rings, and then you clamp them together to close up on them. <clears throat> yep. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm focused. <laughs> 
And speaking of grass cutting, they happen to be doing that right outside my window now. That's nice. Now I'm sure everybody's asking, are all these mowers necessary? <laughs> and my answer to that is, in this world, everything is necessary. <laughs> Very well put. If we can do it, we're going to do it. Yeah, you can never have too many mowers. I wish you could put more on, honestly. <laughs> they need to yeah, put on a mod. To the sides. Where you can make it. Oh, my God. <laughs> All I see is that come around the corner. Nice. <laughs> Little overkill, uh, I gotta admit, but still looks pretty cool. <laughs> but alright, since we got everything pretty much ready to go, I think we can start diving into the uh, good old topics. And I guess the first thing we can talk about is... Well, we always seem to talk about it for whatever, for whatever reason on this series. The Nintendo Switch is almost here, and I'm interested to see what your basically final thoughts are on it since it's only a couple weeks from release are you still gonna get it are you still interested in it or what are your well it's been on my list and my birthday's coming up so i'm gonna say uh yes see you can record some switch gameplay and i can upload it <laughs> <laughs> yeah i guess so um yeah i guess i, I think it comes with mario kart Really? I thought that wasn't a launch title. I think. I don't know. I'll have to find out some more. But I thought that was the verdict. I mean, the I like Could the whole wrong. the whole like local co op stuff seems really cool for it. like you know all these random like mini game type things. I mean that's what Nintendo's always been really known for, are just like these fun <clears throat> mini game type style stuff. And yeah. the only thing I'm worried about is the launch lineup is really small. Yeah, you have The Legend of Zelda, which is probably the biggest thing that's going to sell the Switch, because I know a lot of people like that series. But other than that, it's really a, a very lackluster launch cycle. So it's very interesting to see what comes down the line for Nintendo. Like, if anything else will, you know, like, oh... A new developer is announcing a cool new game. Like, hopefully that happens for them. Because I, I don't know what they'll do if it turns out to be another Wii U catastrophe. Then they just need to go away. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bottom line. Then they just need to go. And Obviously another thing, they're not cutting it. Another thing that they need to do is not do what they did with the NES Classic with such a limited amount that they made, and then they're like, oh, wow. We have such a high demand for it, and we only made, like, three of them, so we're always out of stock. So hopefully Which they don't do that sure with the, the Switch. Switch has high, high demand, so... Well, I'm sure, too. I mean, I, I think it... Honestly, I'm pretty sure it has a much higher demand than what the Wii U had. Just because the technology seems really cool. Like, I like the whole different controller things and stuff like that. It seems yeah, cool. Definitely. So, it'll be interesting to see what you think of the, you know, the console and stuff like that. And especially how the games run when you're out of, like, the docking mode. So, mm -hmm. I'm very interested in seeing Almost that. Almost definitely. It'll be interesting to see what games get supported down the road. I agree. So yeah, maybe you'll still see Nintendo Switch stuff even though I'm not getting it right away. I mean, you can probably send some video over it and we can probably discuss it and have like a podcast type thing of your gameplay yeah, and whatnot. So. Alright. Yep, get a general idea on... Uh... How it is for everybody else. I'm sure there are going to be tons of forums out about it anyways. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. Alright, next on our topic, and since it's coming out again tomorrow, let us do a little 
discussion over the Ghost Recon beta. Since the last time we played Farming Simulator, we haven't played it yet. So this is the first time we're talking about it on here. And let me be the first yeah. to say, definitely beat my expectations. Yes. Yeah, it definitely has. I mean, it's... The gameplay is great. Granted, yes, of course it's going to have minor glitches being a beta, you know, with video and invisible characters during cinematic spots, but other than that... And uh, planes not accelerating really... after the pilot <laughs> goes out. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah, funny. Yeah, things like that. But, you know, it's... It's all in good and fun, and uh, I'm sure they'll fix a lot of this stuff, and that's why they have those to begin with, to mm -hmm. get those quick minor fixes in before the actual launch, and the open beta coming up soon is going to be tomorrow. in completely different locations. Comes out tomorrow? Mm-hmm. So I know what we're recording Perfect. tomorrow. <laughs> yep. But we're, um... all, we're all over that. I was honestly surprised to hear that they were going to put out another region. I was expecting them to just be like, yeah, it's going to be the same region, and, uh, you know. I think it's no. two regions, isn't it? Yep, it's the one that we played in the closed beta, and then for the open beta, there's a brand new region, which is what we're going to be focusing on, of course. So, that'll be awesome. Yep. And it's, it's around the, not salt flats, but it's... I don't know where it is actually, but it looks cool, and I'm very excited about it, so. Yeah, no, it looks pretty neat. Definitely different. But, like I said, it beat my expectations, because they were already high expectations, because I'm like, I love the Ghost Recon series, I love Tom Clancy stuff, and when you mix that all with an open world game, that makes me very excited, and from, I think we played a good four or five hours of the closed beta. Of just the beta itself, yeah. I mm -hmm. mean, we definitely maxed out to everything that is possible in the beta. Yeah, we collected so. everything that was collectible. We uh, did all uh -huh. the side missions, and we beat the uh, cartel boss or whatever was there. And sure did. was having a great time with it all the way through. Like, there wasn't one moment where I'm like, this isn't a fun game. It was just, there was always something to do, like, Oh, check this out. Let's go over there. And, you know, we did our Terminator helicopter sequence that didn't turn out very well because I did terrible at piloting, but still was fun to do. <laughs> but there's there's so many moments, and I'm, I'm excited to see the new vehicles because I think you can fly, like, the Black Hawk helicopter and stuff like that in this one. So one of us can be on, like, the minigun and all that kind of stuff. And, ooh, it's going to be so Heck good. yeah. So I'm excited yeah, for that. Be fun. Videos will probably start coming out tomorrow night of that. Well, I shouldn't be saying that because this probably won't come out tomorrow. So, sometime in the past, that video came out. So, <laughs> so we got that <laughs> going for us. By the way, before we get to our next topics here, I just want to discuss this new widower. It actually, it's a conveyor belt. It pushes everything to the left side instead of putting it in the middle. I was going to ask you that because I'm like, I don't see any uh, grass t on the on the thing. I mean, it, it's cool. I I guess I don't know how it kind of changes our strategy up a bit, I believe. Oh, you know what? I, I just realized what I could do is I could, you know how I'm doing the one row and now my game's kind of, I think I might get kicked. Oh, no, it's back. I think what I can do is that one pile that I'm moving, I can just keep moving that pile over and just kind of have like a system going on with that. Oh man, my game is not yeah. doing too happy right now. Well, you know, it doesn't help that it's freaking pouring down rain. And yeah, I wish it would stop. It's like, on. holy crap. So we have some new Xbox One releases coming out here in the next few weeks. And those being... Bloons Tower Defense 5 and City oh, Skylines. Oh, yeah, that's right. City Skylines. The untold SimCity story. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Basically. <laughs> Man, SimCity was oh, such I'm a disappointment. Confused. Holy Whoa. crap. I am so confused right now. What? Yeah, I kind of messed up with the rows uh, over there. Just ignore that. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm gonna go on back. That's when. And, that's yeah, when. The, anyways, that's when the game was freaking out on me. Gotcha. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> Whatever. Leave me alone. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like that's it. It basically has what SimCity started lacking. Like they're they're holding to the old style of SimCity, mm-hmm. you know, of gameplay. Which is what everybody thought SimCity was going to be, and then they're like, exactly. no, it's yeah. going to be this terrible game that doesn't resemble SimCity at all. We're trying yeah. to branch off into this whole idea world that doesn't work very well, and... Yeah, and no then thanks. shut down a majority but of I'm the glad studio. It's... Yeah, uh, it's I'm glad it's uh, coming out on console. Yeah, it's about it's time we get a city builder on the console. Yeah, I think the last time we did was like the PlayStation One with Sim City. And hopefully it'll do well, and then the other other Sims will follow trait like a uh, roller coaster tycoon and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Even though, well, I can't, I can't say that there. It already has being with Scream Ride. Yeah, but that wasn't really. It was just like, okay, build a roller coaster. It was like an arcade roller coaster builder, basically. It's like, oh, try to score as many yeah, points with so. like a intense ride. It wasn't really simulating a park and stuff. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, I, yeah, that makes sense. I just don't get how still, Thrillville like, hasn't made a return. Like, I love that game. I, it was cool having all those mini games and stuff fun. like that, and it yeah, was good. I think it did pretty well. But I'm glad, you know... Just more games like that. Mm-hmm. It'll be interesting to see how it runs on the Xbox One. Because it kind of need you kind of need a good PC to run it on PC for the City Skylines game. So it'll be interesting to oh, see how they run it. Kill I mean, obviously, some of the resolution, probably, mm-hmm. and whatnot. But the controls seem really nice, because you, you saw some of the gameplay in that trailer I sent you. I'm just excited for it. Like, it's yeah. going to be awesome. I'm trying to get it early, so everybody can see it. Because I've talked to them before with PC DLC and stuff like that, so... Hopefully they'll be awesome again. Let me try it out. <laughs>